Hi friends, welcome back to Mai's World. Today we will be reading another story, but first, have you brushed your teeth? Alright, have you washed your face? Okay, has mommy or daddy tucked you in tonight? Alright, today we will be reading Buzz Beaker and the Outer Space Trip, written by Kari Meister and illustrated by Bill McGuire. Buzz Beaker loves to make cool new stuff. He keeps his ideas in a special notebook. Dr. Beaker is Buzz's dad. He likes to invent things too. Buzz's dog, Rags, is always excited for new inventions. It was a perfect night. The stars were bright, the moon was full, the fireflies were blinking, the crickets were chirping, chirp, chirp, chirp. Buzz Beaker stared up at the night sky. He sighed. If only I could invent a spaceship that worked, he said. Rags barked. Think of all the things we could see, said Buzz. They imagined what it would be like. Let's get to work, said Buzz. Buzz took out his spaceship notebook. He flipped through the pages. So far, none of his inventions worked. This one was too small. This one did not go higher than the mailbox. Buzz was not sure what went wrong with his last spaceship, he, but he remembered that it hurt. Buzz threw his notebook in the bushes. I give up, he said to Rags. Rags sniffed the bushes. He picked up the notebook with his mouth. I know, Rags, said Buzz. A good inventor never gives up. Buzz opened a new page. He started new plans. He used his calculator, he used his ruler, he used his brain. Time for bed, Dr. Beaker called. Buzz slowly climbed the steps into the house. He was very tired. Buzz brushed his teeth. He zipped up his space pajamas. He crawled into bed. Buzz kept thinking about the spaceship, but soon Buzz fell asleep. Rags did too. In the middle of the night, something woke Rags. Strange sounds were coming from the backyard. Beep, zip, ping. Rags licked Buzz awake. What is it? asked Buzz. Let's go see. Buzz couldn't believe his eyes. Aliens, aliens were walking in his backyard. There were alien dogs too. Buzz grabbed his backpack. He grabbed his notebook and three boxes of cookies. Now's our chance, said Buzz. Let's go, Rags. Buzz, Buzz told Rags to be very quiet. No barking, he said. The aliens were very busy picking things from the dirt. It was easy for Buzz and Rags to sneak onto the spaceship. No one seemed to notice. No one noticed them when the spaceship took off. Beep, beep, beep. This is awesome, said Buzz. The spaceship was just about to pass Saturn when Rags started barking. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Shh, said Buzz. It was too late. Rags ran from his hiding spot to chase a robot cat. The aliens saw him. Lucky for Buzz, he brought cookies. Aliens love cookies. The aliens were happy to show Buzz around the spaceship. They showed Buzz around their planet, too. It was very cool woke up from his own bed. Was it a dream, he wondered? Rags brought Buzz his notebook. Buzz started drawing. Then he noticed some writings in his notebook. It said, thank you for the cookies. That is the end of the story, friends. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a story time. Bye.